Okay, there we go. Yeah, hello everyone, welcome back. Uh, I just want to read one scripture, uh, Proverbs 27, verse 1. Okay, uh, and a simple thought that goes along with it. Uh, Proverbs 27 and verse 1, it says, Do not boast about tomorrow, for you do not know what a day may bring forth. Okay, do not boast about tomorrow, for you do not know what a day may bring forth. Um, well, uh, if you recall, you know, James also talks about something similar, right? Uh, in James, uh, scripture records for us, you know, don't do not boast um, um, that saying that, you know, today, tomorrow we will go there, we will do this, uh, we will buy this, sell this, and so on. Um, but you add the Lord in that, you know, if the Lord wills. So, uh, so the, the focus is on boasting in arrogance and pride, uh, and not on planning, on having foresight, and so on. Yeah, so that's just wanted to make that clear. But this particular verse, you know, do not boast about tomorrow, for you do not know what a day will bring. Um, so it's not about fear or anxiety. You know, we know that, um, you know, all our times and seasons are in God's hands. So, you know, we, we know it's not about fear, uh, it's our anxiety, but, but really about um, what is required of us in a, in a day. You know, the responsibilities that come upon us, the demands that are placed on us on a particular day, right? So we, sometimes we think, okay, um, maybe I can do this tomorrow. You know, while we have the ability and the time uh, um, uh, uh, to do it today, right? To complete it today, to finish something today. So the reminder is, don't boast about tomorrow. So you don't know what demands will be there tomorrow, what responsibilities will, there, will be there tomorrow, what challenges will be there tomorrow for you. So don't boast about it. And, um, and the learning is that. You know, when we, while we have the time and the inclination and the ability to do it, to finish something today, um, let's go for it, right? So let's pray and then we will continue. Father, we thank you for this reminder, for this uh, um, exhortation, God, that, um, Lord, while we know that our times are in your hands, Father God, safe and secure, Master, and uh, we know that you will lead us, Lord, into all that you have for us, God. Lord, your encouragement is that, God, that we will not presumptuously boast about tomorrow while we have your presence, uh, the abilities that you've given us, and the time and the resources to do something, to complete something, Lord, to attempt something today. And maybe not, Lord, um, just procrastinate or delay the inevitable, Father God. Um, but let en enable us to do it. Uh, give us the strength, give us the emotional strength, the physical strength, and um, and the spiritual willingness, Father God, that we will do it, complete it, um, all that you've asked us to. And so we, we just want to give you all the praise and glory at this time. In Jesus' matchless name, we pray. Amen. Amen. Okay, so uh, this could very well be the last class uh, before we, um, for the, uh, uh, for, for in-campus um, e-learning and also online students, right? So from next Thursday, we have our presentations, right? project presentations. And also next Thursday, before next Thursday, on or before, that is the 4th of April, is when your submissions are uh, going to be. So again, I will uh, open a you know a, a assignment uh, where you can just submit your project reports. Okay, um, so just wanted to um, remind us about that. Um, so it's India time, 9 a.m. Uh, on or before 9 a.m. on the 4th of April. Okay, so uh, I would request everybody uh, to maybe to. Aim for maybe even 2nd or 3rd of April. Okay, Don't keep it till 4th of April. 2nd or 3rd of April and complete it. E-learning students, of course, you have uh, another week, um, have time till 11th to uh, submit your videos and also your project reports. So, uh, so 
So you have that. So we would request you to uh, turn that in, um, especially for e-learning students. If you're uploading a video, um, you do it in your Google Drive and you share the link, uh, put it on the discussion page. But please make sure that you have you give me access. right? Most of the times when the sharing happens, I noticed, especially in the drafts that you've sent, um, that they, you don't give the access right. So I'm unable to see. So this is for e-learning students. So um, once you put the video, you put the project, um, a report in the um, in your Google Drive. Please give me sharing rights. You know, um, check in the permissions and this that sharing section uh, in the drive, and make sure that it's uh, given for me. You know that I can read it, I can edit it, so that I can go through it. Okay, thank you. Okay, so today's class just want us to remind. Uh, I uh, just wanted to ask, how far is it um, in your report progress wise? Um, if there's any clarifications any questions you could uh, you could ask and we can address that um, okay okay it's going good Jeffina uh, it's going good okay um, so there were some questions about uh, from the e-learning student uh, one of the students is about the, the project report is itself you know should it be, should it be, we said it's a minimum of 25 pages and a maximum of 30 pages so so the so the question was you know is it 25 pages or 30 pages of content or should it include you know the table of contents index etc so it's actually the actual content of minimum 25 and maximum 30 Okay, the actual content that you actually put in. Um, so that's the thing. So, you know, if it's a title page that you want to have, and if it's a table of contents, it's again table of contents is optional. Okay, because it's a small report. You know, it's hardly thirty pages. So, you if you want to, if you are comfortable doing it, do that. Table of contents uh, is optional. Okay, so the actual content, uh, the actual content of the research and everything should be. Minimum of 25, maximum of 30 pages, right? So so that is the thing. Just leaving out the title page and the table of contents. So basically, that's it, right? Um, uh, <clears throat> so um, so that's something that I wanted to share. Um, yeah, Jafina, you have a question. Yeah. So if we have any statistics, graphs, or tables, do this, do that come under a content thing? Or? Yes. It does. Your tables, your graphs, um, any diagrams, anything uh, that would come under content, of course. And even if you have towards the end citation, uh, I mean, your reference page, and also maybe if there is an appendix where you sharing the questionnaire, right? That would also be part of the content. I'm just talking about the table of contents, and probably you know it's like yeah, if it's if it's going to run over to three pages or something, that won't be taken into account. So that is all. Um, yeah, um, yeah. Uh, see, I'll I'll also try and upload a you know a simple structure for the report for those of us who are doing it for the first time. Um, let me just see where I put it. Okay. Um, what if it's less than twenty five pages? You know, it can't be less than twenty five pages, Rosalind. So that's the thing. You know, um, you can give some background for the research. Let me just share the format. It, I think it will be, you know, uh, it should be minimum of 25. Can't be less than 25. Because if the MLA format, you know, there is a font size, which is about 12 points or 11 or 11.5 points. You know, that's the recommended font size. And it's also, um, I think, the line spacing. So with all that, I'm sure it will, you know, you have to kind of manage it within 30 pages so i'm sure it will come to uh, 25 right um, let me just try and share a, a sample report um, sample structure you know all those things that you could actually have in your report um, just a minute okay um, i'll try and upload it for both the e-learning and also for the um, online students. Let me share this page.
Okay, um, so I'm sure you see this. See this title page. Uh, okay, let me just increase the size of it. Okay, it's clear. Okay, so title page, etc. It's optional, right? Like uh, you know, so if you want to do it in a page, it's fine. Otherwise, you know, um, okay. Here it says 150, 200 words. That is also, it's a suggestion. Okay. Uh, so you don't have to strictly go by that. Let me just put that. So table of contents again is a. Uh, it's something that if you want, you can. Otherwise, leave it. Okay. From here onwards, you know these are um, good elements to have in your research research paper, right? Introduction, literature review. Okay, if you've gone through any of these, um, you know, some theories or something that you studied, if you've gone through some material, you can write about that methodology. Okay, what is the methodology that you used for your research? Did you use interviews? Did you use questionnaires? Did you use, um, you know, um, you went through some journals, went through, went through some authors? Um, okay, and also you can mention why you chose that particular methodology. Okay, because um, it's it's the most apt, most suited for your research, and this is the only way to get the or the most suited way to get the information. For your research, etc. Okay, so there can be results, findings of your research. You know, you can use tables, graphs, right? Um, and then, so this is when you are using the result. I mean, the, all this is suggested. It, it can actually help bring clarity to your project report. Okay, so you can report the data without any interpretation of it. You can just put the tables, etc. Then there can be a Discussion of it, interpretation of the results. Okay, so this is what it means. Um, whatever you have found out, uh, interpretation. You know why? Maybe a certain age group. You know this is what you noticed. This is the trend. Uh, so you you mentioned that, right? Analysis, explanation, anything goes in the discussion. Then you could also you know um, here you could also mention any recommendations. Right, um, it can be either in this section or it could be in the conclusion also. But I, I think it will be there better if you have it in the discussion. Any um, uh, you know recommendations, conclusion, summary, uh, restatement of the research question or thesis statement, um, and then you know suggestions for further research, whatever. Okay, so I'll just put here recommendations. Um, additions. Oops. Oh man. Mm. Yeah. Okay. So. So you know. So appendix, appendix or appendices would be uh, where you keep your questionnaires, your survey. You know, if you had an interview and um, the questions for the interview, you could mention it here. You could. Uh, write it under this heading. Okay, so you could follow this um, simple structure, uh, but use the MLA format. Okay, so structure format. Um, just wanted to mention that I'll upload this at the end of the class, so you can go through it again. Right? Okay. Okay. Right. So it, it can be kind of a checklist, you know. Have I mentioned this? Have I included this? So uh, the report can be well rounded. Um, so that's the thing. Okay. Any any further thoughts? Any challenges? Um, yes, uh, Divya. Yeah, Pastor, I just wanted to ask regarding certain things like uh, the, uh, as you said, the title page. Does it have any particular format? It's, it's is it like one page? The uh... um, yeah, it is. Uh, and then the MLA format has gives you how to go about it. Okay. The MLA, you can you refer to the MLA format template, which is okay. uploaded in the resources section, and you can use that. Um, yeah, if you want to use the title page, you can use that. You can do that. 
okay so yeah. uh, uh, if if i uh, if i use the title page then uh, the same information does not need to be repeated in the first page right like the uh, um, uh, course name uh, date instructor and all that because right now mm. uh, i have not included a title page i okay. just uh, uh, directly am starting with uh, okay. my name and instructor name right course and date but uh if i have yeah. a title page then i don't need this right you don't need to repeat it yeah because you've already mentioned it there uh okay. your name title course name whatever you know oh okay. date etc time taken whatever you want to mention you can mention in the title page itself so uh, and you don't have to repeat it in the thing so that's fine yeah. okay and uh, also regarding the pagination uh, does the la the first and last uh, i mean the first page require pagination or i can leave it or uh... you can start from where you actually uh, uh, start the actual content so okay. you can yeah so you can leave out the table of contents and uh, the title page etc and you can start yeah that's fine sure sure and pastor i also wanted to know what's the difference between like so, some places i am seeing works cited mm -hmm. some places i'm seeing bibliography being used uh mm -hmm. right right now in in the format that you just showed mm -hmm. us as references so is there any difference between all this no 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 it's the same it's, it's the same the yeah, 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 it's the same. Okay, and yeah. also I wanted to check if uh, uh, the spelling, right? Uh, yeah, it it would be different uh, with the uh, the American version. Uh, mm. The spelling can be different. So is that a problem? Um, many words there would be spelling set can be different. You can do a spell check in whatever uh, whether it's English. I mean, whether it's uh, UK or American um as uh, you know for, uh, this thing uh, but if you as long as you do a spell check and do a grammar check i think it's fine not an issue because we didn't specify that it should be american or english um uh, american english or uk so it's it's fine so since we didn't specify you can use either um and uh, yeah sure sure and uh, for figures if i'm using in the in the uh, text mm -hmm. uh like even the figures uh, at the bottom of the figure i can't specify the source and everything right it should it need not be separately mentioned later on right it should um, be yeah for the figures actually uh, what is the uh, i forget what is the template what is mentioned in the template um how does it um, how does the mla format specify it um, if you're putting a, you just go with that okay uh, yeah. i'm sorry i can't recall uh, yeah they they have uh, in in this scripts mla format template three that you had shared mm. they have the figures uh, the name along mm. with the figure uh, uh, just below it right so they they actually number the figure figure two whatever and then uh -huh. give a title right yeah. yeah yeah so you can go with that okay okay sure yeah. sure thank you thank you right. right sure okay uh then jeffina you had one more yeah so about the uh, presentation so how we will know when is our turn to do the okay, presentation. turn for presentation no? okay um yeah it's a good question uh, like uh um, what I'll do is I'll uh, I'll prepare a random list, okay, not alphabetically, not in any order, um, but I'll just probably use the system, probably chat GPT to prepare a random list, throw up a random list for the presentation, and I'll put up the list, okay? Is that okay? I'll put up the list, um, and uh, so, but the thing is, everybody needs to be prepared, right? You've already submitted, which means by third or fourth, you would have submitted everything. Um, so you be prepared to present, you know, about I'll, I will, um, you know, um, put this by end of the month or beginning of, uh, you know, next month, April 1st or 2nd, I'll put that up. So it'll be a randomly generated uh, list. Okay. This is for the online students, of course, uh, and in person. So it'll be a randomly generated list and I'll put that up. So each person will have 10 minutes. So I guess in a, 
in a class we'll have about five we might each of our classes will spill over to a little more than one uh, 50 minutes okay just be um, i just want to yeah share that beforehand so it might go a little more than uh, one hour um, okay so uh, we will also see, try and see if we can have an additional hour like in the coming weeks uh, maybe on fourth itself or maybe on 11th or 18th we will see if we can have an additional hour so we can we don't have to rush through uh, we can actually be a little more relaxed and spaced out. Uh, let me just see how many. Um, okay, so how many are there enlisted? I don't think everybody gave their titles. Um, so we have 18 um, or 17, I guess, 17 students listed. Um, I'm just going through. Some have problem with the attendance, so they may not actually be able to uh, participate in it in the, in the, in the final presentation, etc. Yeah, so 17, so 17, or let's say 16. Yeah, we need five days. We'll we'll take an additional hour uh, somewhere, maybe on the 11th or 18th, and I'll I'll keep you posted. Right, so 10 minutes. Some of you may finish within. 10 minutes or maybe earlier than 10 minutes that's also fine right but just, just try and make sure that you don't go beyond 10 minutes because i will anyway stop the clock at 10 and ask you to stop okay so right okay just go through the rubric for the presentations like um, the uh, categories i think i've uh, present that also right um let's say um For the, I think I've shared that. Um, I'm not sure where I said. Okay. Um, if not, let me. I'll share that with you also. I'll upload this along with this. Right, the rubric for. Um, I remember sh sharing that with you at s in some class. Um, I'll, okay. So, okay, I see Rosalind's question. Um, just want to know if I'm invite interviewing the parents, and there are thirty questions and thirty families. So, should I interview include my interview with them in the content, like all of it, or um, yeah? So you don't have to, but. Uh, if you want to, you can put the table, and uh, you can summarize it. Like you don't have to uh, the contents of each and every, you know, every respondent, every question. You know that will become too voluminous, and you can't. You know that will, um, so you can't do that. So it will be a summary. It will be a percentage of, you know, who answered what, and maybe you can add some descriptive answers. You know, some some things of, some comments of note, some remarks. Which the parents shared, which you feel is important enough to mention, you could do that. So you don't have to mention all the answers or all the responses to the interviews verbatim. You don't have to put that. Okay. Right. Any. And there also, uh, when we submit, mm. should we submit the Google Docs alone or the, I mean, sir? And then the document alone or the presentation? Uh, the document alone is fine. Not the not your PowerPoint or anything. Not document alone. This is for, of course, the um, online and in-person students. Um, but uh, uh, of course, the e-learning students will have to present the video. Okay, so the video might have the PowerPoint when you are capturing the video. The presentation would have that, so that is fine. Okay. Um, yeah, Lubega, you have a question. Yeah, yeah, I had you, sir, on your introduction saying that we should send, was it on e-line, e-line learners or we online, when you say that we should do, try to send things which are, which is editable, it's a concern on my part. Oh, I see. Okay. No, no, no. Um, this is for the e-learning students. Um, so that they can give me access. So when they upload on a Google Drive their report uh, and the presentation, 
for them to give access because e-learning students some of them i noticed they don't give access uh, they share it they share the link but uh, they forget to give access change uh, the you know the the, the permission uh, thing so so that is what i mentioned it's not for online or uh, in person class right i'm sorry um tell me again physics was it oh i'm sorry i'm sorry i'm sorry okay so if this is a google form do we also list out the full responses or there's the question so you can actually it's a question and the question also you can um, i mean you you you, you can actually uh, put it as a heading uh, so it'll be each field right so it'll be a uh, it'll be a heading uh, or you might if the question is kind of brief you can put the whole question uh, you just see how it works um, so when you're summarizing it you're not going to put it in a google form right uh, you will the google form itself gives you certain graphs on the responses well yeah. you could use that uh, you could use that or you can use an excel sheet to right. summarize so i was asking about uh, the appendices where we put all the questions which is used yeah 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 so do we in that space do we also need to capture all the responses which we received or the question oh, should be just the empt just the format right. yes yes what so, question yeah. you use just the yes, format first, yeah. thanks thanks yeah yeah, yeah. Pastor, uh, praise Lord. Uh, Lincoln, yes, Lord. Uh, yes, Pastor, uh, like you said about the attendance, I received the attendance notification for the first two months, and I saw my attendance for uh, independent research paper happens to be seventy-five percent, mm -hmm. which is well short of uh, the the minimum required attendance. Mm -hmm. But I'm pretty sure I've not missed on any single class of yours, and I did not join late or leave either. Leave late, mm -hmm. early either. So mm -hmm. I'm surprised to see that, and I, I did uh, check with the admin team for a second time, and it seems that they they have you know uh, confirmed from the reports that it is showing mm -hmm. seventy five percent. And for the month of March, I think we had mm -hmm. few. Uh, I mean, we we did not have some of the classes for this month. So I yeah. just see, you know what could be done here. But but from my end, I was pretty conscious for this whole semester, and especially I have mm -hmm. not missed out on any of your uh classes yeah we can actually see it's it's very easy to ch uh, check you can just go through the videos the videos will have the list of participants right yes yeah so it's uh, it's easy to check and also the system captures so this is only for the classes that we had now whatever class was cancelled uh, it it doesn't consider so it's only for the classes that we had where we recorded where the system automatically captures the who were, who were the attendees so it's based on that report um only so so i'm not sure how you know uh, i'm not sure how to answer that so you could uh, you could uh, discuss with the admin uh, by college admin and clarify that because uh, a if it if the class is cancelled or you know like we had uh, you know it typically for this class we don't have you know like all the classes so if it's cancelled it does not uh, capture attendance uh, only if it's a, a class that has gone live so that is that is one um, so yeah so that's the thing uh, you can did you have like uh, bandwidth issues where you had to drop off the middle of a class like uh, I, I'm not sure if you had that kind of a challenge, Lyndon. Sorry, I can't hear. Can you hear anything? Lyndon is speaking. Uh, say something, Lyndon. I'm sorry, you can put it on the chat if it's uh... OK. So uh, anyway, uh, whatever issues that you have or challenges or clarifications about the attendance, and also Rosalind has a question. Minimum time is 40 minutes. We attend, but time is showing less than 40 minutes. Then you will be marked absent. OK, I see. OK. 
so if you actually log out a little earlier um or you you because of bandwidth issues or something you know you you dropped off and you couldn't log in so th those will also be taken into account so um you know you could you could discuss with admin about that yeah so i will not have access to those records um so you can check with admin and then clarify that please okay okay so lecture are we free to send pdfs after uh, after putting our work together we we save it as a pdf and then we send to you or we should send the word yeah you can say you can you can post it in the section where we, i will create uh, an assignment and for submissions of all project reports so it can be a pdf it can be a google doc it can be a word doc whatever it's fine okay thank you yeah okay okay yeah so looking forward to the presentations um see uh, just work on that because uh, don't leave it to okay you know you might have to uh, because it's a, it's a whole lot of things and uh, you're planning for 10 minutes right within 10 minutes all the thing that you did um, you know you want you want to highlight it um, so you might have to plan the rate at which you present the content you know so so that you don't spend a lot of time or emphasizing a lot of time on on things that are not necessary you can just you know start to uh, just start you know don't waste too much time on hallelujah praise the lord <laughs> at the beginning and say you know i want to thank god for this opportunity don't don't worry about that <laughs> uh, i al already know that you know you're, you're grateful for the opportunity etc so just get into it and just say okay just introduce yourself and just you know just say um, uh, just go get into the topic, right? So, just wanted to tell you. So, you might have to actually practice it, uh, time yourself, uh, practice it, and uh, so that you can finish within ten minutes, right? Okay. And uh, also, if you have a PowerPoint, it'll it's a good idea to um, you know uh, yeah, try sharing it. You know, so open a Google Meet and uh, practice sharing it, um, uh, or you know if it's if it's a powerpoint file you could also convert it into a pdf uh, i find that uh, a lot more convenient when i share things um, like you can convert the powerpoint file into your into a pdf you can just save as and save as pdf and it says okay should i save all slides you say yes then um, each slide comes as a page you know of that powerpoint document so it's much easier that way when you're presenting um, I mean, but if you're used to, you know, if you're used to uh, using a PowerPoint, that's fine, you know, but you you can try this, try this out, convert it into a PDF and then presenting it. Um, that's also fine. So uh, those of you who especially log in through your phones, right, um, you have to practice it. I mean, it won't happen on that day. So please, um, I, I, I really don't know how that works. Uh, I've not used phones to, you know, teach a class or present information so um you might have to you know figure it out practice it uh and then do it right especially if you're logging through a phone or any other device uh, apart from a laptop try it out and see how it works get used to it okay okay um yeah zelitoli Okay, um, while well, uh, presenting through phone, you know, like if you uh, open the other slide, the video does not come out. It happened in the uh, uh, last, uh, in the second year, I think, uh, presentation of the sermon. Mm -hmm. So, how is it okay, like when we present the video, should be on or? Like, yeah, ideally, we'd like the, the, yeah, we'd like the video to be on, please. Um, but is that a is that a, oh the phone doesn't permit is yeah, it? it's it's either the yeah, yeah. whatever your content you're putting on screen or your video uh -huh, i see uh it's one or the other i see okay then fine 
you know, if there's a restriction like that, it's fine. Um, like if it doesn't come on the same screen, uh, that's fine. Um, but we will have one uh, one question after that. So once you finish your presentation, you can exit out of the whatever your you know stop sharing the file, and then when you answer the question, whatever if there are if there's any question we need to ask you, then you could keep the video on and uh, answer that. Yeah. Okay. 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 Right. Okay. So no further questions, then shall we wrap up? Okay. Okay. So from my side, I'll upload um, this structure, uh, simple structure with all these elements, and also the rubric for the presentation. Rubric meaning what are the categories across which you will be marked for the presentation, so you can specifically work on those things. And um, yeah, so those things I will upload. And also, I will put up the list. Now, list is, again, for the online and in-person students for your presentation. So it will be a random list with the dates so you can come prepared. right? And I'll, I'll, I'll also mention earlier, if you have an additional class, either on the 11th or on the 18th, if you have an additional class, so we can you can plan ahead and be part of that as well. Right? OK. Right, thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, pleasure teaching this uh, course. Uh, I think most of you, I mean, you did all the work. I just had to facilitate. So anyway, thank you. Looking forward to the presentations. All the very best. Right? God bless. Bye-bye.